and I'm in just in this moping moping period. It's just very common, you know, in the relationship with your teacher. You know, you go through all these phases. And it's just namaste everyone. And then he looks into, he's crossed the street on the other side. We're on this side. And he's namaste namaste very sweet. And he looks into my eyes very intensely. And I see these two laser beams blasted me. I went like, like this. I mean, honestly, as if somebody connected like 5,000 volts of electricity to my body and I'm just like going like this. Uh, and then, you know, he goes back and he's namaste other people. And I'm like literally shaking, like what the hell just happened? And then he's namaste, namaste, namaste. He comes back again to me. Two laser who's blasting me again like this. And you're looking away. Da -da 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 -da. Namaste is everyone. And he goes in. Nobody saw what happened. Nobody noticed it. So anyway, I go into the satsang house. And I'm sitting there with the master. Da -da -da -da. The satsang happens. Normally, there was like 150, 200 people. And most of the time, I would sit in the back. Because I didn't think, you know, I was loved or... I didn't get any juice from him. He didn't pay any attention to me. But right after that time, I realized that, wait a minute. If he didn't want you to be here, and if he didn't love you, and if he wasn't grooming you for something in the future, you would have never got that blast of laser beams because it just awakened every cell in my body i mean i can't explain this this is beyond and i've really barely ever talked about it to anybody i mean i've had a lot of spiritual experiences happen to me but they're private and they're meant to be for you only not being shared in public or at the right moment you share it and it comes out but this was like beyond. I can't, I can't explain it. There's no explanation of what happened. But it awakened every cell in my body. And right at the point that I thought I wasn't being loved or I, the master doesn't want me to be, to be there and because he doesn't give me any attention or he doesn't talk to me or any of that, I get this gift. I get this love. I get this bliss because it literally transformed me, transformed everything in me. How did I get to say this? What was I saying before that? I forgot. Can somebody remind me what was I saying prior to that? Were you listening? I mean, what was I saying? How did I come to it? I forgot what I was trying to say. I think we, we all got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looking and yes, yes, correct. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad spiritual teacher. He forgot what he was talking about. <laughs> that has happened many times to me in my workshops. Hilda knows. Monica knows. I'm in the middle of something and then I have to ask I don't even know what I, why I'm talking about this. What was I talking about originally? You have to go beyond. Into the truth of who you are. Who are you? And you come into this place 
because the mind goes into silence and I am remains the I am, but it's unidentified with anything. And I am is not judging anything. You rise above judgment. You rise above the human. That's why Frederick Nietzsche in Thus Spake Zarathustra is talking about that when Zarathustra comes from the mountains to the village, to the town, he says God is dead and it's the birth of Superman. It's super consciousness. It's entering into the cosmic consciousness beyond what is right and what is wrong into you climbing the pyramid, coming to the very top, beyond all of that. And then you begin to see all from that place. The third eye, the all-seeing eye is open. And then the universal love operates through you. So my brothers and sisters, I know you're sincere. I know that because I see it in your heart. I see the love you have. And you want to help humanity. You want to help this planet to raise its vibrations. But you have to be awakened. So you're clear. Not from this place. You have to awaken first. And for that, you got to be focused on yourself only. That has to be your priority. Then you're of value to the planet. Can you imagine that 40, 50 awakened beings fully realize what kind of generator will create what kind of power of love is going to be radiating constantly from your presence without even doing anything? You're just walking around, living your life, and you're blasting this planet with this love? So if you want to do that, you're first you have to discard the world and go in. Because the world is those eye candies. You're involved with the politics, with this, with environment, da, 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 da. they're your distractions. They're holding you in the Maya. You have to go beyond the Maya into the fifth dimensional consciousness. Means the consciousness of oneness. Means the recognition that all of it is yourself. then the power will come, the love will come and uses you to transform. And this is the time right now. So let's go. Do it. Join me. I'm here. I'm committed to you. Get committed to you too. You get committed to you. I'm committed to you. You don't get committed to me. You get committed to yourself. Do that. Come and join me in this love. Drink from this love with me. It's plenty for all of us. I want to share this with you. Come. This is different than worldly stuff. Worldly stuff, you don't want to give it away. Because if you give it away, then you don't have. But this one is infinite. 